What is up, everybody? So, it's 2018, which means we are about to start gearing up for the 2018 WWE Royal Rumble match. And it's going to be a special event this year. I believe it's the 30th. Is it the 30th? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the 30th anniversary of the Royal Rumble. I think it is. Or was that last year? Somebody help me out. I forget. But we're getting up for the Royal Rumble. And it's going to be a more special event this year, you could say. Because there's going to be two Royal Rumble matches this year. There's going to be a women's Royal Rumble match. And then there's going to be the 30-man uh, Royal Rumble match. I want to talk about the women's Royal Rumble match real quick. Who should win that match? I am thinking that, um, I haven't really thought about who should win this match, actually. Um, I really want to talk about this match because I want to give some ideas on surprise returns. I'll probably give my uh, prediction on who should win the match when I give my Royal Rumble prediction, so that will come later. But, surprise returns. This is the first. You gotta have some legendary women wrestlers return to this match. You have to. If you don't, I'm gonna be pissed off. First off, you gotta have Trish and Lita return. They have to return in this match. They don't have to win the match, but they have to be in this match. I mean, come on, man. You got the first ever women's Royal Rumble match, and Trish and Lita aren't gonna be in it. Nope, you can't do that. You gotta have them in this match. Please bring them back for this match. Also, bring back Molly Holly. She's got to be in this match. She is really underappreciated. Um, she was very um, underrated. She's very good. She was good in the ring. She was, you know, just an entertaining character. The Mighty Molly character. And then her heel run with the Women's Championship. Like, come on, man. Um, she should be in the Hall of Fame, by the way. Um... China should be in the Hall of Fame before everybody, though. I don't know what's taking them so long. And it's a shame that China can't be in the Hall of Fame. Um, like, she can't literally be there. That's that's a real shame. But, man, if she was alive, man, she should be in this match for sure. Man. <sighs> Who else should be in this match? Beth Phoenix. Have her return to the match. For God's sake, she eliminated the great Kali in the Royal Rumble match before. Why not have her come back in this match, you know? Um, you know what would be awesome? Where has Jazz been all this time? Have her return the match and eliminate a couple people. She was badass back then. Why not? You know? Victoria is another one. Come on. Michelle McCool, Undertaker's wife. Why not? She's been teasing her... Versus Charlotte uh, in the past on her Instagram. I would love to see that. I think that would be a very good match. Um, you know, so have some of those legendary uh, wrestlers return for this match. Why not? If nobody returns or surprise entrance, that would suck big time. Um, now, on to the 30-man Royal Rumble match. The rumor going into this match... I've heard a couple things. I've heard um, that Roman Reigns is supposed to win the match to face Brock Lesnar. I don't know one person who wants to see that happen. Not one person who wants to see it. Maybe Roman Reigns' family, but that's it. Um, I do not want to see that happen. And they're going to be in Philly this year, so you know that crowd is going to hijack that show. Um, just like they did in, what was it, 2015 or 14 when Batista won? Yeah. Um, I think that Daniel Bryan, if Daniel Bryan should be, he should be a surprise entrant in that match. And he should win the match. Now, that would be awesome. That That's good booking right there. It's not, probably not going to happen, but if I was Vince, I would go to Daniel Bryan and say, listen, you want to wrestle? Here, win the Red Rumble match. You can fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 
fucking yeah. And it would be really fitting too. Just think about it. I just, this now just came to the top of my head. Daniel Bryan wins the Royal Rumble match in Philly this year. Goes on to WrestleMania in New Orleans and defeats Brock Lesnar. That's crazy when you think about it. 2014 Royal Rumble was in Philly. Everybody wanted Daniel Bryan to win. He didn't win. The 2014 WrestleMania was in New Orleans, and he won the world championship. That just, I don't know about you, but that, that just sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, but yeah, um, if I was Vince, that's how I would book the Rumble. Um, you could have, I've heard rumors of Shinsuke Nakamura winning. Um, you know, I like Shinsuke Nakamura, but... You know, I think I don't like him like how the marks like him or whatever. I think he's cool. Um, to main event WrestleMania, I don't know if that interests me a lot. But I would love to see him face AJ Styles for the championship. And that still could happen, um, you know, if he doesn't win the Rumble match. Um, who else should win the Rumble match? I've heard rumors of having John Cena win it. Um, nobody wants to see that again, but if it means Roman Reigns not winning the match, then I would love for John Cena to win the Royal Rumble match. Um, but yeah, those are the rumors that I've heard of who's, who's winning the match. Um, who do I think should win? Like I said, I think Daniel Bryan should win. He should return at that event. It's probably not going to happen. Um, other than Daniel Bryan, I honestly don't know who else should win. Maybe Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe or Bray Wyatt. I think Bray Wyatt could really use that. Um, you know, and then defeat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That would be pretty interesting, wouldn't it? They need to put Bray Wyatt back on the right track, man. Um, he does not deserve um, what he's gotten in his tenure in the company. And... Um, I think a Royal Rumble win would help, and a victory of Brock Lesnar would most definitely help get him right back on the right track. Samoa Joe. Um, yes, um, if it's not Daniel Bryan or Bray Wyatt, I think Samoa Joe should win a match. Um, I would love to see him defeat. Um, well, you know what? You know what? You can choose. Like, they should go back to, you know, you, you choose who you want to face. And I think Samoa Joe should choose to face AJ Styles. I would love to see Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles at Mania. I mean, they have fantastic matches in TNA. Um, so who don't want to see that? You know what I mean? Probably not going to happen. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Those are a couple. I mean, you go with Braun Strowman. I don't know if y'all want to see Braun Strowman versus Brock again. I mean, AJ Styles versus Strowman would be pretty cool. Um, I don't think Ginger Mahal is going to win. Excuse me, Ginger Mahal, as Eva Marie would say. I don't think he's going to win. Um, it's funny how he's, you know, in a U.S. title hunt right now. He was just world champion a couple months ago. Now he's fighting for the U.S. belt. I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. Here's one. Here's one that would shock the whole world. Have Dolph Ziggler win the damn match. <laughs> That'll get a pop for me. Uh, Cause unpredictable. I love unpredictable stuff in pro wrestling. You know, I just I just really love it. Um, you know. Um I think I don't know if anybody would really like that, but I think it would be awesome because of the unpredictable factor. And you know, Dolph Ziggler. He's a good wrestler. Why not? He could have a great match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania. So, yeah. Um, I honestly don't know who else should win the match. Um, not Randy Orton. No. He's won the match what? How many times has he won the match? Two times? Three times? Two. I believe two. But, yeah. Those those are my picks. Bray Wyatt, Samoa Joe, Daniel Bryan, or Dolph Ziggler. Uh, yeah. For a surprise entrance, you know, I'd like to see a lot of people come back, man. Uh, 
hell, why not throw Batista in there, you know? <laughs> he doesn't have to win anything, but, you know. But he's probably not going to be back, you know. He's going to be promoting Avengers Infinity War, which I can't wait to see. Man, it's going to be off the chain. Um, I'd like to see MVP come back, man. You know, I was a fan of MVP when he first came to the WWE. You know, when him and Kennedy was a uh, few um, tag team and against the Brothers of Destruction. Um, who else would I like to see come back? Why not have RVD come back? That would be awesome. Uh, Hurricane, Shane Helms, uh, why not have Shawn Michaels, re nah, yeah, just leave that alone, Shawn Michaels don't need to come back, I would love to see Shawn Michaels back, but the two matches he had with Taker, you don't want to mess with that, so, you know, um, yeah, um, I'd love to see Kurt Angle in the match, I think he will be in the match, I think Triple H will be in the match as well. Um, I think I believe Triple H and Kurt Angle are going to fight at WrestleMania. So, um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to the Royal match. I mostly look forward to the surprises that they have in the match. Um, you know, so we didn't really get any surprises last year. I mean. Ty Dillinger, but I could care less about him. What is he doing right now? He's doing nothing. So, hopefully we get some more legendary surprises like we have in the past. Um, you know. Uh, yeah. So, what what do y'all think is going to happen at the Rumble match? Um, who do you want to see return? Who do you want to win? Give me five people who you want to win the match. As I was saying before my camera really shut off, <sighs> Damn. it's fast, it's it's crazy how fast the year has gone by, it's crazy, but uh, yeah man, we're on the road to Wrestlemania, and um, I'm looking forward to that 25th anniversary of Raw, um, I'm hoping that, you know, Undertaker does not come back to announce um, his in-ring return. Um, that's not disre that's not disrespect respectful. I he's my favorite wrestler of all time. I just don't want to see him return to the ring. I mean that send off he got at WrestleMania was fantastic, so I don't want to see him wrestle again. I hope it's 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 either one or two things. He's there to celebrate of course the twenty fifth anniversary of Raw. They're gonna be in a Manhattan Center, so that's probably where he's gonna show up at. But one thing I really hope he's there for is for them to announce him as the first inductee into the 2018 Hall of Fame. I really hope that that happens. Now, rumors are circulating that he's not even going to be in the Hall of Fame this year. And if that is, if that is the case, I am going to be so pissed off at WWE. So pissed off. Undertaker needs to be the um, first inductee in the Hall of Fame. Undertaker 2018 Hall of Fame or get the F out. Seriously. But uh, yeah, man, give me your predictions for the Royal Rumble. Give me five names who you want to see win um, both matches. And give me five names who you want to see uh, return in that match, all right? Uh, you want to follow me on social media, those links will be in the description down below. You want to talk more wrestling with me. Come on, let's talk. I can talk all day, really. Um, and uh, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. 2018 is going to be off the chain. It's going to be on like a part of neck bone. That is a fact. Um, a thousand and more subscribers, that's what I'm going for. And we are all going to have fun, all right? All right. I'll see y'all in the next video.